At first glance, he may look like your average 25-year-old USC sophomore, but look closer. Lance Corporal William Kyle Carpenter has experienced more than most of us ever will, and he has the battle wounds to prove it. So as these hot pieces of grenade went through my face and my skin, they had that gunpowder on them, which in result, as it went through it, from the heat tattooed the gunpowder into my face. Kyle knew at an early age the military path was for him. I got my first USMC t-shirt in middle school and I guess that's really where it started. What he didn't know was that just four months in as a 2nd Battalion 9th Marine, his life would change dramatically. First, while on roof patrol, in enemy attack and explosion. Slowly I felt like warm water was being poured all over me from the amount of blood that was coming out all over my body. My body was in such shock and had just gone through such a traumatic blast that I couldn't really feel any of my body. It, it just felt like I got hit in the face really hard with a two by four. And then I said a quick prayer. So I had come to terms with and, and accepted that I was not gonna survive. So I knew when I closed my eyes and I kind of faded that that would be it. Next, after realizing he had somehow miraculously survived. And next thing I know, I'm waking up to Christmas stockings five to six weeks later on my hospital room wall at a military hospital in Washington, D.C. Thinking, all right, so my mom decorated my hospital room wall. <laughs> he discovered he had also done the unthinkable. That I... Um, attempted and shielded Nick from the grenade blast. Lance Corporal Nick Euphrasio. So this is Nick. His best Marine buddy. Me and him slept on the ground together right over here. That blast left shrapnel in Kyle's brain, shattered his eye, knocked his teeth out, even diminished the use of his hand. The next several years were met with surgery after surgery, some 40 plus operations. And when things were beginning to return to some sort of normalcy, this happened. I actually got a call from the president. I was told the day and the actual minute that he would call. Uh, he told me that he was proud of me, that the country was proud of me, and that on behalf of the Secretary of the Navy and Secretary of Defense's recommendations, that he was going to be awarding me the Medal of Honor. The President of the United States, in the name of the Congress, takes pleasure in presenting the Medal of Honor to Lance Corporal William Kyle Carpenter, United States Marine Corps. Quite the surreal ceremony Kyle says he still can't believe really occurred. Now this Medal of Honor recipient, this hero to so many, has traded in his Marine Beret for a USC baseball cap and has his sights set on one thing, graduating in international studies. Beyond that, down the road, whatever I do, I want to be successful. I want to try to make a positive impact on people's lives. And I really just want to be a good person. And with a life filled with so many changes, Kyle will tell you, without a doubt, not even a second of hesitation, that had he had the chance to take a different path in life, to forego the Marines and escape that explosion? I would have done the exact same thing. You know, my best friend, Nick, my buddy, the best Marine I've ever met is alive, and that takes precedence above anything. The second thing, it's made me who I am today. What I value and the lessons I learned, I wouldn't have a lot of that if I wouldn't have gone through what I did. In Columbia, Eric Weisfeld, ABC Columbia News.